everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 42, and this is war number two. And we're going against an alliance called, what is that, Guerreros? Why? I'm not sure if I said anything bad. Um, but let's take a look. Let me see, who did they ban? All right, Ghost, Scorpion, and Spider-Man 2099. All right. Let's... Uh, See what they have in store for us. Make our plans. I take plan uh, path three in sections one and two. Hmm. Okay, so this is interesting. So Spot, unless he gets armor, is not going to benefit from this node. I don't remember uh, if he does or not. But I do know that the person I like taking spot with is nick fury i normally use nick fury in alliance quest but uh i can use other champions in alliance quest no problem so i can bring nick fury in here for this if i want to and then we've got mangog um i don't know Human Torch could. I usually don't like bringing Human Torch, though, because um, I run the Ouchie Masteries, and I don't think he performs at his best when you do, because in the beginning, I'll be having that bleed debuff on me, and um, that shortens his uh, incinerates. Let's see. We got Quicksilver here. Hmm. Now, this Quicksilver, Quicksilver is annoying anyway, <laughs> no matter what, to fight. Um, I don't think he gets armor ups, though. Uh, I'm thinking if I'm going to take him, I could bring Overseer. And then we've got... Omega Sentinel, uh, Nebula tears her up. Uh, but so does Claire. Um, let's see. Yeah. Nebula could take that fight. So I'll have to discuss things. I don't know, Sassy. Um, let me think. So... If I bring Nick Fury um, for that spot, but I could also, I don't absolutely need Nick Fury for that spot, though. But I could bring in Spot, I mean, uh, Nick Fury, uh, Overseer, and Claire, or... Nebula. Let's see. And I'm thinking if one of them would be good for anybody else. I'm not sure. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to discuss it with my team. And you'll see who I choose in a moment. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going in with this team. Uh, I don't get a chance to bring in Nick Fury uh, these days very often. He is my favorite skill champion. Sorry, um, Valkyrie. Uh, but I, ju I just like Nick Fury. You know, that double life makes him really, really versatile. And I normally have him in Alliance Quest. But I saw Spot. And I think Alliance Quest was uh, either down or I hadn't yet started. And I'm like, okay, I see Spot. I always like using uh, Nick Fury against Spot. Always. Uh, and Spot is a relatively new champion. And I still don't know how to evade uh, completely his specials. They're, they're not difficult, but I have to learn the uh, rhythm. And I just haven't practiced. But look at this. 
See, I usually take a few of them and then I'll evade that last part. I'm getting used to it. Okay. But look at this. He's just melting. Look at that. He can block all he wants. <laughs> Don't matter. I'm telling you, Nick Fury is a beast. Love me some Nick Fury. He ain't even on his second life yet. All right. I did not mess with that Mangog, uh, but I do have the uh, next mini. The next mini is Quicksilver. And you're going to see how I fight him there. Uh, I've seen people uh, use Quicksilver on defense in Battlegrounds. And he's also one of those champions that is, they, they're tricky to fight. They are definitely tricky to fight. Um, his specials are tricky to evade but they're not difficult but if you miss he's gonna really work you over all right so i'm gonna boost up for this fight because i don't want any trouble but i have practiced a little bit uh fighting him and basically i do two things one i tend to fight him kind of like stun immune. So I bait out his heavies and try to punish his heavies. If I do parry stun him and he has that charge, I just have to know to go parry and then quickly block because he's coming. All right. Now, Overseer is great for that. See, like right there. So I parried him and then he was like, boom, and I was ready for it. Now it's on cooldown so I can parry him and just fight him like normal. So that's one thing I do. The reason that I like Overseer against him is that when I bait out his heavy attacks, all right, that time I, I messed up on the uh, uh, evade, but look at look at my health. It didn't really uh, do much uh, to me, okay? But like right there, when I bait out his heavy attacks and I punish him, Overseer, when he punishes heavy attacks and specials, does extra damage. So he works great for this fight. Just look at this. I'm telling you, Overseer is a beast, man. I love Overseer. Um, I took my Overseer to rank four. And I probably won't take him to rank five. Don't ask me what happened there. Sometimes the heavy attack, I get hit because I can't move. It just happens. But... We got him down without too much difficulty. They had to do a little shenanigans, but that's fine. Um, but Overseer is in the seven-star pool. So there's no reason to invest in my six-star anymore. Except his awakened ability gives him extra damage. Um, especially when he does those um, retaliations and all that good stuff. So... A uh, SIG 200 six star may be able to match or exceed the damage of the seven star for at least a little bit. Uh, I have not done any tests, so I don't know. All right, so here we go with this one. Now, I learned something, uh, and I don't know why I can't remember this, but do you see the purple charges up there? for a uh, black widow she needs those to nullify so if i'm going crazy and nullifying a bunch of things i'm using those up and when those go down to zero i can't nullify anymore okay so i gotta keep remembering that i i, I learned it and then i forgot it and then i relearned it and i gotta remember that uh, i think in uh one of my videos Someone left a comment um, telling me that they were like, you know, you you need you you ran out of those charges, and that's why you couldn't nullify. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. So I gotta keep reminding myself. So anyway, Omega Sentinel, not too much of a problem. Now you notice that I don't have a lot of people on my path, but I will be taking some people on Boss Island. Uh, next up, I believe, is going to be Korg. 
and my girl Claire is something. Now, look at this. Look at our defender kills. We've lost this war already. Okay? We already know it. At this point in time, we're just trying to uh, clear it out. So deaths don't really matter at this point. You know, just personally, I, I hate dying, but we're not really trying to um, win without deaths because we already know that the war is lost. But I'm still going to boost up because I got a ton of these boosts. They're just sitting there. I should have used one of the uh, 15 uh, minute boosts. Got like a hundred and something of those in my overflow. I opened up a bunch of those uh, Supreme Crystals uh, some time ago. And so, yeah. Anyway, uh, I remember when I first uh, encountered this node, I absolutely hated it because it forced me to do something against my instinct, which is parry. You'll notice when I fight, I have a very heavy parry style. This time, it'll punish you unless you have a stun immune champion. So one of the things that's nice about fighting Korg here is that I'm already used to not trying to parry Korg. Okay, so that's what you see me doing here. I can evade this special one thanks to Dorky Diggity Dave. Um, that was when I first learned to parry, uh, to um, evade his special one watching uh, Dave's video in the timing. So yeah, I just fight this stun immune style. As you see here, he fired that off right when he was getting his shield, uh, rock shield uh, stacks back, but that's fine. Not a difficult fight as long as you don't parry. Because if you stun him, you will get stunned and the fight will most likely be over. Okay, so I've learned to fight it. I hate it. I hated it when it first came out, but I've gotten used to it. Now, this pig here, if I know that I'm going to be fighting him, I'm going to bring in somebody that can counter this evade. Now, you'll notice how it switched over because I was not going to fight that one. But it seems like no one had a, a good option for him. We were supposed to get all of this straight before the war started. I, I don't know what happened. All right, so they were like, hey, you've got Nick Fury. Um, you should be able to, to do that. All right, so now you'll notice I did not, um, you know, put any um, invulnerability boost or anything like that. I don't think I did uh, for this one because we already know we lost this war. Okay, so <clears throat> right there, I did not parry him because I know that parrying is going to, you know, um, I forget what it, what it is, that limber or whatever. Uh, so I'm trying to preserve those as much as possible. But I want you to see what he's able to do. And why he's so nasty. Look at this. Suddenly he evades and he's unblockable. I'm like, okay. Look at it. Evades again. Bam. Boom. I'm like, what? All right. Up, that, what? Up. Hey, can't touch him. Can't touch this. Mm, 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 mm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Can't touch this. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And so I'm like, okay, I'm I'm gonna try. Whoop, nope, not enough time. Whoop, but unblockable. Up, evade. What? Bam! New life. Up, can't touch him. Don't, don't. Can't touch this. Uh -uh. This is why I don't like fighting him on this node unless I have a proper counter. All right. So I'm hoping that this will do some good damage. Right? He's at 22 percent. Now he's at 14. And his power pop, uh, his uh, porker poppers took me out. So that was that. I was like, wow. I was hoping I did a lot more damage than I did with that special three. So lesson learned. I should have just kept going um, and got him down a little bit more and then maybe fire the special three. So anyway, we're back and uh, we just finish him off with a good old overseer i mean goodness gracious so if i was actually trying to do that fight 
I would have, of course, put in, you know, invulnerability and uh, I would have fought a little bit differently. Um, but we got him down, at least. Uh, I did not touch that boss. <laughs> All right. So uh, in a minute, we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. Second war of the season, and it's a big fat L. So we're on war number two, and all we've done this season is lose. All right, uh, take a look here. We are definitely struggling. We've got some things to correct and deal with. Uh, we are in danger of getting, you know, knocked out of tier two. And if that happens, it makes it very difficult uh, to regain our tier and we'll lose so many points that we may not end up in um, Platinum uh, 2. We want to try and get to Platinum 1, but this ain't the way. And uh, at this point in time, we might just be struggling to stay in Platinum 2. All right, so... We'll see what happens uh, next war. So that's going to do it for this one. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.